And now, it is time to unveil the final nominees for this season's edition of the Roundup with me, Big League. Hit it. We start things off with Cinderella Monroeville in its first state semifinal. And like Deja Vu, game tied in the top of the seventh, but not anymore. Abby Poth squares up the yellow ball and takes it to the other side. The biggest hit in Monroeville softball history to help send them to the state championship game. There it goes. Goodbye, softball. Nominee number two is Hillsdale's Braylon Jarvis. He was singing Drowning Pool in his head in a scoreless game he was singing Something's got to give. Something's got to give. No! It's a leadoff triple that helps start the scoring in their regional championship 3-0 victory. They're headed to state. Now, I'm an avid baseball fan, and Nom Nom number three had me thinking about the 1970s Orioles and their theme song, Ain't No Stopping Us Now, because there ain't no stopping the Strasburg Lady Tigers and Miley Reifenschneider hitting this bomb over the fence to pace their 10-0 five-inning state title victory. Goodbye, home run. Staying at Firestone Stadium for nominee number four, as the one who calls her own pitches is also a pretty good plate hitter, as Sydney Watts had the softball singing, and I think it's gonna be a long, long time. That has to be one of the longest home runs in state championship history at Firestone. That was crushed. Our final nominee also comes at state. Canfield's Kaylee Ortiz had a singing Snoop Dogg as one, two, three into the four, well, not quite four, but three. It's a bases clearing double and the difference in the D2 title game as the Cardinals win it. Time now for you all to vote, but operators are not standing by. However, you can vote below in the comments section for our final chart topper of 2024.